Hi friends, this is Sarvajan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good. And the last scenario I discussed about the active active. So there are several possible reasons for a, both the routers going into active active mode. So as per the HSRP, one should be elected as active and one should be elected as a standby route. So that is the actual scenario. So in this architecture, what happened? So both the ESW1 primary and the secondary is going to active active mode. So we need to we need to understand the exact reason for the active active scenario, right? So this is ESW1 and this is ESW2 and all this I have configured in VLAN 10. So the, to this VLAN 10 I configured two different hosts, host 1 and host 2. So one I configured 10.4 and 10.5. So the primary IP is 10.2 and the secondary IP is 10.3 and the VIP IP is a 10.1. And also I started the packet capture. So let us go to the packet capture, right? See here you are able to see, right? 10.2 is a primary router, both 10.2 and 10.3 are continuously sending out the hello packet and both are showing as an active active state, right? This is a DSW1, this is showing as an active state and the secondary also showing as an active state and both are sending out the hello packet on the multicast address 224.0.0.2, right? So this is the way it is communicating and both are becoming an active active state. So we need to understand the exact reason for the active active scenario. So this is a debug I already started. So we are able to see that right, it is sending a hello packet and but it is not it is receiving it is receiving an authentication failure from the hello packet from the secondary router and similarly let us go to ESW2. ESW2 is also sending the hello packet and it is receiving the authentication failure from 10.2 this is a primary router so it is showing authentication fail. So this might be the one of the reason for the both the ESW1 primary and the secondary becoming active active right. Show standby brief will show. So we are able to say right, this also going to active state and let us see the secondary router. This also showing into the active state. Show standby brief. So we need to fix the issue. So the, even this can lead to disruption in the traffic. So always you have to first fix the issue. So let us go and fix the authentication failure. So go to show run interface VLAN 10. So this is the thing I configured 10.10 and VLAN 10 this is a primary IP 10.2 and I configured the parameters hello and let us see in the secondary router. Show run interface VLAN 10. So here the authentication is mismatching right so we can remove it or we can configure to the same authentication interface VLAN 10 and let us first remove the invalid authentication that is hello one. And let us configure with the correct authentication. Standby 10 authentication is hello 1. So we will configure with the correct authentication. So now let us see how it is how the election is going on. So now you are able to see right it is uh, it is going to speak mode, active speak mode. So after that it will go into change into active standby mode. So you can see the same communication over here. So we did, we were able to see right it is entered to active standby. So 10.2 becomes a standby and 10.3 becomes the active mode. So let us now check it from here. Show standby brief. Show standby brief. So the VLAN primary becomes a standby router right 10.3 10 uh, and secondary let us see. Show standby brief. So this becomes the active router right 10.2. So this IP show run interface VLAN 10. So this IP this becomes a primary router and what happened to say this becomes a secondary router. Show run interface VLAN 10. So this becomes a secondary router. If you want to make this as a pri primary router you can also check the ch change it to the priority. So if you want we can make this as a primary router. Go to interface VLAN 10 and we can also set the priority. So interface VLAN 10 and let us check the priority standby 10 priorities 200. So now this will change into active and CSW2 become the secondary. So standby brief. So we are able to see right this becomes the active router. And this becomes a secondary router. So this is how we can because always active is selected by the router with the highest priority or the highest IP address. So since I change the priority what happened this becomes a primary and this becomes a secondary router. So now you can see the uh, communication from the PC end also. So let us ping the PC 192.168.10.4 and 10.5 is the PC2. I am able to ping from both PC1 to PC2 
let us check from PC2 also 192.168.10.4. So the HSRP communication is working properly. So one is alerted as a primary and the secondary, and the host started communicating uh, in a proper manner, right? So this is how we can go and debug the HSRP related issue. So there are several reasons for the active active scenario. So one is it can be an access list which is blocking the HSRP communication, and second might be an authentication mismatch between the primary and the secondary router. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day.